The Foltz D-3 was a fighter aircraft used by the Luftstreitkraft Imperial German Air Service during the First World War. The D-3 was the first major original design from Foltz Flugzeugwerk. Though generally considered inferior to contemporary Albatross and Fokker fighters, the D-3 was widely used by the Jagd Starfelm from late 1917 to mid-1918. It continued to serve as a training aircraft until the end of the war. Prior to World War I, Foltz Flugzeugwerk produced Moran Solnia monoplane designs under license. These aircraft entered military service as the Foltz A and E series. In September 1916, Foltz began producing the first of 20 Roland DI and 200 Roland D2 fighters under license. In November 1916, Foltz hired Rudolf Geringer from Flugubbau Friedrichshafen GmbH. As Foltz's new chief engineer, Geringer immediately commenced work on an original fighter design. The resulting D3 emerged in April 1917. Like the Rolands, the D3 used a plywood monocoque fuselage. Two layers of thin plywood strips were placed over a mold to form one half of a fuselage shell. The fuselage halves were then glued together, covered with a layer of fabric, and doped. This wickelrumpf wrap body method was a patented invention of the LFG firm. It gave the fuselage great strength, light weight, and smooth contours compared to conventional construction techniques. However, it also proved to be more labor-intensive and expensive. Furthermore, fuselages of the Wickelrumpf type proved to be liable to twisting or warping in service, affecting performance as well as causing control problems. This has been attributed to moisture absorption in damp frontline conditions or to the use of insufficiently seasoned wood. The wings were of conventional construction, with a flush Tevez unbrawn radiator offset to the right side of the upper wing. The ailerons were wooden, rather than the more usual steel tube construction. The horizontal stabilizer had an inverted airfoil section, which facilitated dive recovery and permitted the use of an unbalanced elevator. IDFLEG found the prototype promising. It directed faults to halt production of the Roland D3 and to complete the balance of the contract, 70 aircraft, to the new design. After a type and proof type test at Adlershof in May, the IDFLEG ordered various modifications, including an enlarged rudder and horn-balanced ailerons. In June 1917, Foltz received a second order for 300 aircrafts. Thanks for watching.